Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aura Martirosian. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create or update your existing stock records using Excel to Sage with just one click. So how could you use this import? Well, you could use it to create new stock items from other systems like your website or your EPROS system. You could also use it to update your existing stock records. So for example, prices or nominal codes. So let's see how easy it is to do that. I'll start in Sage 50. As you can see, I don't have any products in there at the moment. But what I want to do is import these three items into the stock system. As you can see, I also have the ability to have lookup tables. So I can change the nominal code and the description and the other bits. So I'll go back into Sage 50 and the first thing I'll do is launch Excel to Sage. This has opened up the program and the next thing I need to do is log into the system. This is now logged into the system and activated various different imports. And the one that I'm interested in is products. So I'll click on that. And what that will do is it will go to the Excel worksheet, take the data from that and import it into Sage 50. And there it is, it's finished it. Next, I'll go back into Sage 50 and I'll refresh the column. And there we are. Those are three items that we imported from the Excel spreadsheet. But I can see that the sales price needs to be changed. So I'll go back to the Excel workbook, go to the sales price and change those to 10, 20, 30. Having done that, I'll just save the Excel workbook. Go to Sage or Excel to Sage. And this time, click on Products, which will start updating the price column in Sage 50 and overwriting the existing records. There, it's finished. This time I'll disconnect and exit, go back to Sage 50 and click on the column to refresh the data. And there we are, the prices have been changed to 10, 20 and 30. It's that easy. So in summary, Excel to Sage is very easy to use very quick and cost effective. You can create your Excel file anywhere. It doesn't have to be on the machine that has Sage on it. You can then email that to your accounts department for validation and authorization, and they can then import that into Sage 50. You can have user-defined validation lists, so you can also cut down the number of nominal codes that could be used on the Excel worksheet. Thank you for your time and I hope you found this presentation of interest. Please feel free to download our free trial now and test it for yourself. You'll be glad that you did. Thank you.